we got married here in this church, and when we said our vows to one another, it wasn't just to one another. That was almost 20 years ago, but it was to one another and a commitment that we would honor God and be in relationship with God. And we keep that commitment and, and, and have been desperately reliant on that commitment when health issues really have impacted our relationship. But somehow, even though 20 years later we're still together, still much in love, still in love with God, we're less than because we're a same-sex couple than a, a, than a heterosexual couple. Um, and, and that doesn't feel good when you're outside or when you have to face the barriers that are out there. Um, for example, health care. We have really struggled with health care because it's expensive if you can find it for your partner who's not able to be insured and you don't work somewhere where there's domestic partner benefit. So. Yeah, we had, we had the experience of when I was working, uh, working at a place that did provide domestic partnership benefits. Uh, once they found out that it wasn't as expensive as they thought it would be, uh, they, they took it to heart, they uh, researched it, and we were the first couple to sign up together for those benefits. So, you know, uh, my coworkers there all recognized us as a yeah. couple. And, uh, but if I die, if I die, I mean, that's going to really be awful. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> but I mean, in terms of, you know, what, what will happen to you? I mean, it's just because those benefits that are available to people that are married. You know, I, I fuss about that all the time. I mean, I worry about it all the time. We have people in our family that are going to be married, but... I'm asking you, on behalf of Gail and I, to sign the Freedom to Marry Pledge. Uh, we deserve it, and you want us to be a part of your whole community, because that's the kind of people we are. You want us to be wholly participating in your community.